Welcome back viewers. In this video, we are going to work on update product. So let's start. You can see my VS code is already open. I am here in route of product. In here, you can see this is product, then route of product. Here, I will create the route of update product. So let's start at app dot route and then parenthesis and quotation slash and here we will give the name update product and then for the id we will pass here less than then int and then here will be id we will pass id of product there and then greater than and here i have to give this slash and then comma and methods equal to and here will be get and post both i will define the function of update product then pass that id here a return will be a render template and we will make that template here in products folder and then the name will be update product.html okay for the form we will bring this form we have a, there is a class add products in form so copy this one and make one variable and parenthesis here will be request dot form and here pass that form equal to form now if you debug from here go to run then debug and if you are not using VS code, you can debug by using terminal. So code here, it's easy. This, that's why I'm using VS code debug and come to here, refresh. You can see we are here. This is an admin page. Here it doesn't have the link. Come to, and then we will create that update product HTML dot HTML. You can see here, we will make one a tag. Here we will make one a tag, a href. Come and close that a after edit. And now here, double curly brackets, then URL for, then will be that update product which the name we create just now this one take you can copy and paste here inside the quotation you have to give the quotation marks then comma then create one variable like id because we are passing there's id then product dot id and this is the product you can see product.id and now you can see that link so our program is already running just come here and see the link and now you see this path there is no update html so we will make this one later just let me here first max the class btn bt btn 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 info for this one and uh, also btn uh, sm small and the same i will do for the delete just copy and paste here and this will be delete the color for here i will give it danger a red now if you go back once you will see 
now the button are looking like this if you click now here you can see there is no update just copy this one and I will come here in templates inside the templates the products and create new file and just paste this path from here so just come to here in add product and copy these all Control A and Control C. Update product, paste everything here inside. Now I will just change the name here. Product dot category underscore ID. And here I will give the name of that category and then here will be product dot category dot name so now let's work on the brand same just I'll make this product dot brand underscore ID and this one will be changed with product dot the brand dot name so maybe you are wondering why this is product brand then name and here is just product id if you go to the model you can see the class here we have this is the brand and for the category same thing is going there and inside is looking for this product then brand and then it will jump to here because of this relationship you can see here this brand and background of the brands it has you can see here it's connected with this brand class here and that's working like this okay now it's done from there now come here what we have to do we have to get the categories variable categories equal to category dot query dot all and also I will make here brands equal to brand dot query dot all and then I will make here that product dot product equal to add product dot query dot get or 404 and we will pass that id this id of that product so now we have these things just pass them there this is brand then categories and then product equal to product so everything is done from here now if you go to your page this was empty before now you refresh you can see here and this is the category and already it's mobile the brand is empty because we don't have a brand there so now it's working fine let's this name how we will do this it's very simple just do this form dot name dot data equal to product dot name and this the product equal to name if you go now here you check this is the name of that product so like this we can get all names before then we will update them so just form then will be price dot data and oh, product dot price and then will be form dot discount dot data equal to product dot discount and then form dot stock dot data 
and equal to the product stock and then for the brand I will create here one variable and this variable name will be brand equal to request dot form dot get and here we will get the name of brand and for the category I will make the same category equal to request dot form dot get and inside here will be category form dot color dot data equal to product dot colors and then will be form dot description and form its full form and then product just the DSC this will be equal to okay refresh and you can see everything is already there so we will do the pictures in next video otherwise this video will be very very long because we have to delete the existing pictures from folder then update other pictures so now I will just do like this if request dot method equal equal to post then we just reverse this order and we can make like that product dot name equal to form dot name dot data and things work like this then price product dot price equal to form dot price and dot data this is discount and then will be product dot discount equal to form dot discount dot data and then after that product dot brand ID equal to this brand and then for the category product dot category ID equal to category here is the see this is category ID brand ID and after that we have uh, color product dot color equal to form dot color and dot data and for this one is colors then we have description product dot dsc equal to form dot description so db dot session dot comment and then flush flush will be an f your pro has been updated and then category will be success and return redirect to the admin so let's see hope everything will work fine just come here and I will change this to the Apple this brand because the brand was empty before and hit add product showing discount is empty let's see the model how we spell this discount it's copy and I will paste it here see okay now you can see here 20% of discount and this one I will make Apple and click okay this image are mandatory let's delete that image fields from here we have three image fields here I will just change them to the ordinary image input type will be file and then I will give them 
class form control and uh, name of this one will be image one just remove this one from here also remove and replace with this and here just change the name now it will be same as before refresh the page and then apple and add okay this price is not working let's see what's the problem then also we will change the add product to update product come to here route and you can see the everything is good let's see what's the problem go to your form surprise because i don't see integer field and there is decimal because of that point maybe that's that's the problem let's import that decimal there is a decimal okay we have decimal there and just copy and paste it here too let's see if this solves our problem or not let me go to update then this should be update and also i will give it margin bottom i will give it five let's see change this one to apple and click now you see your product has been updated and here you can see that brand of apple let's do this this should be something oh now it's something if you go back now you see this brand also so let's change the color we will put one color here red and if you go back you see red is here and for the price let's see how price is working price will be 1095 so you can see here this is working now that's all for this video thank you very much see you in next video we will update image take care bye bye